Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashawa. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. As more of us become vegan, the spiritual consciousness of humankind can be elevated higher. Let's continue striving to touch people's hearts and minds to change to a vegan lifestyle and to love the precious animals and our respected planet. Extreme Weather Events, Urgent Call for Prevention, Part 2 of 3. Continue watching to find out more. Hoyendag means hello in West Flemish, one of the languages spoken in Belgium. I'm Mark. The people of Belgium are grateful to you for having the kind of caring nature that the world needs in this critical time in history. Welcome to part two of our three-part series of shows on extreme weather events, urgent call for prevention. Apart from heat waves and wildfires, climate change has also triggered many other extreme weather events, including intense storms, floods and blizzards. For example, a series of recent winter storms in the United Kingdom and other parts of Europe led to severe downpours, floods, high tides and other extreme weather events. The first storm, Atia, swept across the Republic of Ireland on December 8, 2019, with wind speeds of up to 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers per hour. Rough seas along the west coast of Ireland were also produced by the storm. Ireland's National Meteorological Service, Met Heiran, issued a status red wind warning for County Kerry, the peninsular southwest region of Ireland. A wind speed of 69 miles per hour or 111 kilometers per hour reached Valencia in County Kerry just after the red alert went into effect. A number of flights from Cork Airport were cancelled. Among the most severely affected areas in County Cork were Castleview and Little Island, where 316 homes lost power, while in Glengariff, approximately 246 houses were also cut off from the power grid. A status red gale warning was also issued for all Irish coastal areas as high tides crashed into the coastline. Moreover, other parts of the United Kingdom were impacted by the storm. For example, on the night of December 8th, Atia left 1,300 homes without power in Wales. On the following day, December 9th, the storm continued to lash parts of the UK, with winds reaching speeds of up to 80 miles per hour or 129 kilometers per hour. Coastal communities were warned of powerful tidal surges that could send debris over sea defenses. After Atiyah, Storm Brendan battered the UK on January 14, 2020, bringing rain and wind gusts of more than 80 miles per hour or 129 kilometers per hour. The Met Office issued a 14-hour yellow wind warning for Northern Ireland, as well as the west coasts of England, Wales, Southwest England and North East Scotland. The highest wind gust recorded in the Republic of Ireland reached a speed of 83 miles per hour or 134 kilometers per hour at Roches Point on the County Cork coast and 63 miles per hour or 101 kilometers per hour at McGilligan. According to the Northern Ireland Electricity Company, about 800 homes and businesses were without power due to the high winds and adverse weather brought about by the storm. In Carrickfergus, County Antrim, Belfast Road was closed at the junctions with Slowfield Road and Albert Road as part of the area's seawall collapsed. At Belfast International Airport, flights were disrupted. On one flight, passengers were stranded on board for two hours because wind speeds were too high to disembark. In Wales, a 76 mph or 122 km per hour gust hit Cabal Curry 
Also in Wales, more than 1,000 properties were left without power and a school was closed due to a power failure. The strongest wind of 87.5 miles per hour or 141 kilometers per hour was recorded on the island of South Uist in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. The Scottish Environment Protection Agency issued 28 flood warnings and 16 flood alerts for various parts of the country. In February 2020, about a month after the impact of Storm Brendan, Storm Chiara, called Britain's Storm of the Century, brought more chaos and raging winds of up to 100 miles per hour or 161 kilometers per hour, swept across the UK and Northern Europe, causing widespread flooding and travel disruptions. Gusts of 97 miles per hour or 156 kilometers per hour were recorded at the Needles off the Isle of Wight, while Manchester Airport was buffeted by winds of up to 86 miles per hour 138 kilometers per hour. In Wales, gusts of 93 miles per hour, 150 kilometers per hour, were recorded in Aberdaran. The wooden miners bridge in Bitsukoid was washed away by the storm. In the northeast, Yorkshire and northern Lincolnshire, 67,300 properties suffered blackouts as the storm raged. Hundreds of flights had to be grounded motorways and main roads were closed and trains were cancelled or delayed. In Ireland, power networks were disconnected for an estimated 10,000 homes, farms and businesses. On February 17, 2020, about a week after Storm Chiara, Storm Dennis swept across the British Isles with strong winds, including a gust of 93 miles per hour or 150 kilometers per hour that raced through Cairngorm summit in the mountains of Scotland. Another storm named Gloria arrived in Spain and France. On January 20th, 2020, this Mediterranean storm unleashed its fury across Spain with high winds heavy rainfall and snow. The hardest hit areas were Murcia, Valencia, Barcelona and the Balearic Islands. A wind gust of 84 miles per hour, 135 kilometers per hour, was reported in Xavia, along Spain's eastern coast to the south of Valencia. On the same day, in France, heavy rain, snow and ice brought by Storm Gloria hit the Pyrenees Orientales area, causing roads and public transport to be closed. More than 23,000 homes were without power due to exceptionally heavy snowfall. In Conflans, Oval Espire, Sertagne and Capsir, disruptions to public transport, including commuting and school bus services, were reported. In southwest France, after Storm Gloria caused widespread flooding, more than 1,500 people had to be evacuated from their homes. The recorded amounts of rainfall were 120 millimeters or 4.7 inches around Perpignan, 246 millimeters or 9.7 inches in Amélie Le Bain, and as high as 280 millimeters or 11 inches in Arles sur Tech. Now let's explore the recent extreme weather across the Atlantic Ocean. It was reported that on January 18, 2020, Canada's province of Newfoundland and Labrador was barraged by a massive winter blizzard. As a result of the storm, 21,000 homes were left without power and a state of emergency was declared in the province, banning all road travel except for disaster-related or other urgent needs. In a single day, nearly 800 millimeters of snow landed on the city of St. John's during the storm. Also in St. John's, wind gusts at various locations were recorded to be in the range of 65 miles per hour to 83 miles per hour, or 105 kilometers per hour to 134 kilometers per hour. 
The storm's highest wind gust was a 106 miles per hour or 171 kilometers per hour, measured on tiny green island off Fortune Bay. On social media, the storm was dubbed Snowmageddon, as snow drifts partially buried homes. The Canadian Armed Forces were dispatched to Newfoundland and Labrador to help with the recovery from the historic blizzard. All of these incidents occurred due to the severe effects of climate change on our planet's weather system. Urgent action to end climate change is desperately needed. A scientific study by Drs. Joseph Poor and Thomas Nemechek published in the journal Science, reports that a vegan diet is the single biggest measure that can be taken to reduce environmental pollution. The researchers found that not eating meat and dairy products leads to a significant decline in the greenhouse gas emissions that cause climate change. Thus, many scientists and others recommend that the most effective way to stop global warming is through widespread adoption of the vegan lifestyle. Supreme Master Ching Hai has frequently suggested this action as the quickest way to stop future climate-related disasters. As more of us become vegan, the spiritual consciousness of humankind can be elevated higher. Let's continue striving to touch people's hearts and minds to change to a vegan lifestyle and to love the precious animals and our respected planet. Then the changes in our world could happen in more surprising speed than you think. Gentle viewers, thank you for your company today on Extreme Weather Events, Urgent Call for Prevention, Part 2 of 3. Please join us again on Wednesday, August 26th for the concluding episode in this series. Coming up next is Fasting Ourselves Out of the Pleasure Trap. Dr. Alan Goldhamer, Vegan, Part 3 of 3. May heaven graciously bestow blessings and welfare on all of you. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash PE.